How's it going guys? My name is Graham, welcome to Two Left Thumbs. You're watching a video promoting the Patreon for Sock Pop Collective, a group of indie game developers who for the last year and a half have been releasing two game jam style games every month. If you want to be a part of it and support them, you can get access to those two games per month for as little as $3 over on their Patreon. There's a link down below to their Patreon page, you can go and pledge there. There's also a link to their itch.io page where you can buy the individual games for $3. Also, in case you want to put it off until the end, the end card at the end of this video is also going to be a link to their Patreon page. Page. Thanks for listening and I hope you enjoy the video. This is Whamu Whamu 2. It's actually like I think the only sequel. That might not necessarily be true, but it's the only one that has a specific 2 within its title uh, out, out of the different sock pop games that we've looked at. I'm, I feel like uh, James and the giant peach here. That I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for the peach and see what's going on. The original game, please help, was part of Ludum Dare. I, I got to get one fly, twelve mushrooms, and two weird little wiggly wobblies. Is that what I'm I'm reading here? That seems to be the scenario. Uh, I, I I can switch tools, so maybe I gotta snip snip all these mushrooms. Ah, uh, good, my little objective thing doesn't go away, so I noted, noted specifically what what it is I need to be doing here. Uh, he wants, like, everything removed. He wants to be totally cleaned up here. So I have a vacuum cleaner. Oh, that's for vacuuming up the, the wiggly little worms. And then I have, I have my net. Whoa! The way you can jump around the fruit and there's, like, the physics that kind of suck you around with it, it is kind of neat. Do you care about the big worm that's like crawling around on your brain there? No, thank you. He's gone. You're you're happy with that? You're not concerned about that at all, are you? The original game was made for Ludum Dare, and I believe the theme was uh, shape shifting. This seems like uh, quite different. Ooh, I missed my coin apparently. The the first one was much more. I I believe you played as a worm. And now, now you get to play as this little goofy stick figure with the party hat. And you just get to be like uh, the the little caretaker of the fruits. I like I like the idea of of, of being a nice, responsible citizen, uh, looking after the neighborhood. Like if I, if I was running like a neighborhood fruit stand or something like that, I'm just making sure everyone's getting the the best quality fruits. Oh my my directionality is getting a little spun around up here. Come on, I can't quite seem to point myself in the direction I want to. Where'd that last little wiggly worm get off to? There, I did. I, I zapped him up without even realizing what was going on. It just kind of happened. You're welcome. It's what I was made to do. This time I better collect my income. I, I can't just keep doing all these services pro bono. You know? <laughs> You gonna drop a coin for me? Ah, good. I didn't. I didn't. Don't seem to have permanently missed out on my other one. Is this? Am I doing this for this little kid with his little pinwheel hat? Am I? Am I doing it to satisfy some need of his? Just that he he's trying to be a better a better person and trying to expand his diet to uh, include more fruits and veggies. But uh, his main deterrent from eating healthy is that his fruits. Just such low quality produce available to him. He needed someone to come in here, hire a little a little dude to come in here and just take care of that for him. If that's all you needed, man. I got you covered. It brings me genuine pleasure to bring pleasure to these fruits, which brings pleasure to the people. And it's a, a self-fulfilling cycle there. We can all feel good about it, I guess. Now that I got my three dollars, probably time to retire. I feel like, unless you want to pay a little bit extra, because I did such a good job on that one. I was very that fast, thorough. You, you satisfied? Is everyone, is everyone, have I pleased all parties? It's funny how this guy kind of follows me around. Do I get to clean out his head? Is that like a final stage of this? Oh, goodness. So many coins. Just so many. More than you would ever see in one lifetime. I can buy a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> a television man this is like that movie downsizing that movie sucked by the way but I want to shrink myself down 
into a world where three dollars is all that a television costs. It seems wonderful. You'd think that would almost start costing more because you would have to get the microchips and everything so much smaller. <laughs> Thanks for playing. This guy, he's just putting in the hours, bringing it home the coin, uh, but he's not putting bread on the table or anything like that. It's all just about getting to enjoy his television. He's got this uh, fun program he likes to watch that, for whatever reason, is like the same texture as his party hat. The hat is just his way of showing what a fan he is of this particular program, you know? It's, it's a whole big thing for him. Didn't expect that to be so short. It was cute, though. This silly little idea. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you with more Sock Pop tomorrow.